Hello and welcome back to Gabbit Media's Sculpt January 2019. Uh, this time the subject was spherical and I went for this funny spherical bulldog was my thinking anyway. Uh, it was a good fun one. Um, oh, I was supposed to say before I start, uh, links are in the description for my website and the Discord server and also how I start off my sculpts. Uh, so there's lots of tutorial links in the description. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so yes, spherical. I started off uh, with um, thinking I'd, I'd just do it in spheres, so I'd just get a icosphere and um, link lots of icospheres together. But then I thought I'm probably better off with metaballs. I'm not sure why I didn't start with metaballs in the first place. Uh, it it was the better option really. Uh, I was wondering whether I was going to keep a really tight line between the two shapes and metaballs sort of merge between the two you see. So I thought at first I wouldn't use metaballs but then I actually went across and did use metaballs. Uh, so if you want to see about metaballs do look at the links in the description. I really wanted to keep the round spherical shape because that was the title and the more I thought about it the more uh, cartoon characters I was watching something recently about uh, sharp pointy characters being sort of evil and uh, rounded characters uh, looking um, cute and so I really wanted to keep that sort of spherical uh, roundness to the character so when I so whenever I um, added anything on um, I was trying to make that quite spherical as well uh, so the legs as you can see here um, I tried to keep as close to that outer sphere as possible but also make them quite sort of bubbly as well um, which was quite fun it took me a long time to come up with something actually uh, spherical's are quite it's a it's quite a tough subject I would say uh, because you instantly think of hard surfaces I would that's what I was thinking I was thinking of sci-fi objects and things like that and I don't really want to do any hard surface modeling uh, if I can avoid it because I'd rather just model that with box modeling I think it's a better approach uh, occasionally you can do some nice stuff uh, to outline a sort of spaceship or something with some hard surface modeling but uh, and then retopologize it but generally speaking uh, you're better off with tighter topology um, in all the corners and edges and things like that so uh, you're better off keeping away from uh, the sculpts uh, I was having trouble with the face uh, because it always looked a bit too wide and uh, that's why it's very important to get across to your reference images. I've got a few more reference images for that uh, looking closely at a bulldog's face. Um, I'll show you my references on the screen this time. I did save them this time uh, so I'll put them up now and hopefully you can sort of see from there uh, the lots of different ranges of uh, bulldogs so that you and having a range of reference images is helpful uh, so that you can uh, get lots of ideas in your head and then adapt your own ideas I don't really like just copying one reference image because I don't feel like I'm developing as much it's, it's fine to do that I'm not suggesting you shouldn't do that but I just felt uh, I feel that um, I need to develop my own style so I need uh, lots of reference images and then pick bits from uh, different ones and then develop them in my own way you can see there that I did a quite big bottom lip, but bulldogs don't really have that, so I did remove that later. I was trying to keep uh, roughly with what a bulldog would look like, even though this is a, a ginormously fat one. Uh, in the end, I wanted it to sort of look at uh, a cake, and I was going to do a cake next to him or a pie or something like that. Actually, a big sausage. That's what I should have done. Maybe I'll go back and put a sausage in. Um, uh, well, oh yes, uh, and uh, the. It's, it's kind of nice to have a story then, isn't it? Uh, if uh, you've got something uh, sort of linking, linking them together and anchoring them. Uh, where was I? Yes, uh, big sausage. Uh, I've, I've got to stop saying silly things like that because uh, people are commenting. What did I say the other day? Um, I got my blob out. Uh, that's, that's not so good, is it? Uh, so I'll try to avoid saying that, but now, I've, now I'm starting with sausage. It's not great. Um, Interestingly, uh, the people are sort of talking about um, whether, uh, because obviously torso, lots of people are doing um, women uh, naked and whether that's allowed on the Discord server and so forth. And interestingly, um, Google won't, uh, because I did a torso, female torso last year, 
and Google won't allow advertising on that particular video. So it's, it's an interesting world we live in. I, I would say that's art and that's fine, but uh, so I, I just have to be careful and avoid those sort of things. So I, so I won't be showing any of those at the end uh, because Google doesn't like it, obviously. Anyway, uh, that's the slide to the side. Uh, let's get back to this. Oh, it, it took uh, two and a half hours. There's lots of faffing around in Eevee again. <laughs> I'm not doing very well with Eevee. Um, it's really brilliant because it reduces my render times, but the amount of time I'm spending trying to set up things uh, so they work is is quite uh, quite long, really. Uh, the shadows today I was having problems with, and they, I kept getting lines across them and things. Uh, that was very frustrating. Uh, but um, I, I left it in actually, I just thought it's probably not going to be so noticeable, it wasn't too bad. But um, you just have that sort of perfection, I suppose most people do, this sort of perfectionist, I, I really want this to work well and to, to live up to my expectations. So you fiddle for ages and uh, that's where it gets time consuming. And I can't really afford to spend that time, I need to get on and sculpt and that's where I'm going to develop as an artist. And I'm sure all these bugs and glitches, and my own knowledge as well, I think it might be a big issue of Eevee, uh, will get sorted out soon. Uh, so uh, generally speaking, I uh, kept to a low resolution throughout, and now you can see that I'm just uh, smartening it up. I've gone to, I think it was about 80 now, uh, maybe actually 50 for the whole object in terms of constant detail. But that does depend on the size of your object anyway, so uh, when I say these numbers, you have to work it out for yourself. Uh, what resolution your computer can handle and trying to keep it as low as possible so that you can modify your shape and your big shapes uh, easier. So keep it as low as possible for as long as possible and then go to those details right at the end. Uh, what I did slightly wrong here I think, um, I wanted to uh, do some, start doing some detail uh, but I should have probably um, well, it's, it's debatable, it's always a difficult one. When do you uh, turn symmetry off? Because you want to get the details in uh, as quick as possible, so you repeat them on both sides, but you don't want too much symmetry in your shape. Uh, so you, you, you want to turn it off, um, but when to turn it off, so you don't have to keep repeating the same things on one side and the other. Uh, so I think I, uh, I may have turned symmetry off a bit too late, but then I had a problem with my boolean, so I had to uh, re-symmetrize afterwards, uh, which is a bit of a pain. Um, the boolean seemed to have a problem because there were two separate eyeballs. I wanted to boolean the eyeballs so that it would be quicker to render. I wouldn't have to render them, um, sort of make uh, decimate the eyeballs and all that sort of thing. So one object is much easier and quicker when you're setting up your renders and things. Uh, for normal maps and cavity maps. Uh, so I had to, uh, and because there's two separate eyeballs, when I was booleaning them to the object, I think it wasn't happy that there were two sep separate objects trying to boolean, and that became difficult uh, for some reason. Uh, so I had to go back and recentralize. But anyway, that's uh, a bit boring, that one. Uh, minor details now, so like, um, I don't know what they, uh, sort of um, little spots they seem to have on their um, snout. Uh, so minor details like that, uh, sorting out the eyes, it's much easier just to sculpt some eyes in rather than try and um, set up eyeballs properly. Uh, they, they look alright and they seem to work. I saw other artists doing that so I thought I'd keep to that. Oh, one uh, really great uh, video I've seen recently from uh, Jan Sculpts, he's done uh, Miles from the new Spider-Man movie. I really enjoyed that new Spider-Man movie and uh, he's, he's done an exceptional job. Uh, get across there, you probably have already if you're into sculpting and you're watching this, uh, but if you haven't, uh, definitely watch that. Uh, his uh, skills are really great uh, and he's, it just looks fantastic. Uh, he seems to have a really good command of EV and 2.8, uh, so you definitely look at his uh, stuff if you haven't. And uh, his, his just general sculpting ability uh, I, I think he's gotten really great uh, recently. Uh, um, uh, he's always been good, but really, really good now. Uh, and he's very precise. I like his sort of preciseness. Um, yeah, so get across there and look at his recent sculpt. I thought I'd take it to Instant Mesh this time because I had a bit of time left over in my two hours uh, and then went over messing about an Eevee. But I thought I'd take it across to Instant Mesh and that was quite useful because a quad based mesh seems to unwrap better when I'm doing a smart UV project. 
and uh, I can be a bit more precise with the um, vertex count, the face count, uh, because uh, 40,000 is what Sketchfab recommend, I think. Uh, you can go way above that, but if someone's watching it on their mobile or something, it's not going to load very easily, so I think 40,000 is the, the best option. So I tried to keep it to that. Instant Mesh did well. I also, I'm leaving this in um, all the baking and things uh, because uh, you might be able to slow it down and see what I'm doing. I will do a tutorial on baking in uh, cycles. Uh, it doesn't work in Eevee yet. Um, I'll do that later uh, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I did a cage object for this because it was a nice object for a cage, uh, but I'll explain that another time. Um, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, it worked nicely and uh, the, um, the normal mats worked well. Interestingly, when I was baking the cavity map, I did an ambient occlusion and a cavity and sort of combined them together to get uh, the sort of crevices and everything. And it took uh, at least five minutes to bake. Uh, so I think there may be a bit of a glitch there, um, but it worked in the end, so that's great. Uh, and a problem I found as well in uh, Eevee was that weirdly my final render didn't look as good as the viewport. And I can't work out uh, why that is. So if anybody knows what's going on there, why my viewport would look different to my final render, uh, let me know. That'd be great. I thought I'd do a, a slight a texture to the Bulldog as well, um, sort of uh, soft uh, texture. I've seen people do that. And actually, I'm, I'm not sure whether that's uh, worked for me. Uh, it works for other people, but uh, I didn't think mine looked that much better. But I left it on uh, because it's good to experiment with these things and maybe I'll get better at that as well. But uh, giving it fine sort of, um, texture, really light, noisy bump, uh, sometimes looks good. Anyway, there's the final piece. I'm quite pleased with this one, I think it looks uh, fun and a happy bulldog maybe looking at a sausage, a bit of cake, pie, pie, he's looking at pie. Uh, I thought I'd show this one from GHP Zin, I think it is, I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, I thought this was excellent work, um, they've obviously got a good command of the EV engine, unlike me. Uh, so well done to them from uh, the Discord server, I hope I got that name right, I forgot to write it down. Uh, yes, do get across to the Discord server, uh, chat to me there, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.